Wrestling is supposed to be an illusion. It's an art form, a genre in which reality can be turned into fiction. But in cases where fiction turns real, we are left wondering how and why it happened. Some rush to blame, others look for answers. Wrestling has gone through a change, slowly getting more and more athletic and allowing performers to push the limits of what they can do inside and outside of the ring. Recently, New Japan's Hiromu Takahashi took a nasty spill when a Phoenix Plex went wrong and resulted in a scary moment in which many thought his career was over. As we wait to find out what his fate is, I'm left wondering what we as a wrestling community can do to minimize the risk of something like this happening again. No, I'm not naive, and I know that injuries will always be around in professional wrestling, but I believe we can affect change in what type of injuries we see going forward. Wrestlers should be taking less bumps and stop putting themselves in situations where things can go really bad. By eliminating spots where you're entrusting your counterpart with your career, and more importantly, your life, let's highlight moves that takes both guys to execute the move. A 50-50 split, a 70-30 split, something where both guys have to do something for the move to be pulled off. Reason being is we're minimizing the likelihood of this type of thing happening again. With Lee and Takahashi... Lee is taking 100% of the responsibility of the move and taking ownership in a sense of Hiromu's life. The idea and goal here isn't to eliminate injuries from the sport because, again, this will, they will always be there. The idea is to eliminate moves that have a higher likelihood of leaving someone motionless or paralyzed. This goes back to the wrestler's mentality. Why perform a move where you can seriously injure somebody when you're already having a great match as it is? As a New Japan fan, I love the hard-hitting and athletic style that New Japan provides. But, personally speaking, I'm calling for a ban on all head and neck bumps. Obviously, in Takahashi's case, the move was botched and Dragon Lee obviously didn't mean to hurt him. But why even take the bump in the first place? With all the inf- information we know now, the fact that wrestlers are still taking bumps on the back of their necks and on the top of their heads seems incredibly dangerous and will result in more and more examples like Takahashi, like Shibata, like Honma, and countless others within the field who have fallen victim to one of these neck and head injuries. As an industry, We have to understand that this is all a work. Wrestlers need to realize that the fan base would rather see them in the ring performing safer moves than performing dangerous moves that will keep them out forever. As an industry, we need to take a look at what type of bumps we're allowing and what we're going to do going forward to make sure something like this doesn't happen again.